We're going into 2024. Should I start a YouTube channel? The simple answer is yes. Yes, you should start a YouTube channel, but here's why. A lot of people are always asking if they should start a YouTube channel or they're sitting on a couple of videos they would love to put out onto the internet, but are really hesitant because whatever fear they may have. Now, you may be in the camp of people that want to start a YouTube channel for any number of reasons, be it you have a brand you'd like to promote or you really enjoy photography and videography and get a little better. You may want to practice your speech and communication ability and certainly talking to a camera definitely improves that or people just want to make it big on YouTube the simple answer is yes you should definitely start a YouTube channel even if you're on the fence you're not even sure what you're gonna be doing or why you want to do it a YouTube channel opens up a lot of opportunities and answers a lot of questions you may not have known to ask uh, it is getting way too bright we're gonna move somewhere else Hey, okay, now I'm in focus. As we approach 2024, I know that there's gonna be a lot of resolutions that come up and they wanna try something new, but we all know the statistic. For 21 days, New Year's resolutions are typically abandoned. What I wanna offer is this. First, a level of encouragement. If you wanna start a YouTube channel before 2024 and going into 24, do it. The reason I would say start now, because you're gonna see that there's a lot of planning that goes into starting a YouTube channel. So before starting January 1st of 2024, start Start right now start the planning if you already have a video upload it start defining parameters such as how long would you want your YouTube account to go how consistent do you want to be what topic what would you like to get started documenting as you're gonna see the idea will evolve so let me just offer a couple of warnings and then just some encouragement off those warnings that are gonna help you taking off on your YouTube endeavor the first one is just avoid the temptation to copy everything about your favorite creator there is a way to steal like like an artist what i mean by that is look at your top five favorite creators take one or two things that you like maybe an editing style or maybe some coloring or whatever niche you're looking at take some ideas from each of them and blend it into your own if you start mimicking another person's channel people are going to catch on it's not going to feel as authentic it's not going to be fun because you're doing somebody else's work for them they're not going to want to watch you because somebody else is already doing that 10 times better because it's them the neat thing about you and the neat thing about you starting your own youtube channel is that there's only one of you so if you do your own thing in whatever niche it is people are going to be interested even if you only speak to a very small audience i enjoy speaking to the audience that watches me it's a relatively smaller audience there's not a whole lot of pressure if you're acting like yourself there's no pressure to mimic somebody else to be as great as somebody else because they can only be themselves you can only be yourself so just avoid the temptation to copy somebody else's brand for me starting off the top five creators that were influential in my development and still are peter mckinn you got Daniel Schiffer, Sam Newton, Life Through Optics. You've got a bunch of other people that, although very different in their own regards, they've all influenced each other and influenced a lot of creators like myself. So just be you. Now, the second thing that I will say is provide your thoughts on what you're interested in because that could be the, the million dollar question. What do you start a YouTube channel on? Me personally, when I first hit publish on my first video, I had no idea what this channel would develop. I, I still see it evolving every day, but I started with something that I was comfortable with. I'm not an expert in, in magic tricks, expose of those arts, but I had a little bit of knowledge that gave me a subject to play around with. I knew a little bit of handling cards and artist, cardistry, things like that. And so that gave me a subject that I didn't have to go looking for because if you have something that you're good at or you just enjoy doing, you may not be good at it, but you just enjoy doing, make that the subject and then focus your marketing, your YouTube abilities around that. So learning how YouTube works, learning how your iPhone camera works or your Android camera, or even if you have a DSLR or mirrorless camera, learn the techniques of the technical side of YouTube video creation around a subject you're already comfortable because now you're just fighting one battle rather than two and be okay with the fact that the idea will evolve. So if you look at my channel, the recent videos have nothing to do with what I initially started off with. Last year, all it was, I think it was like 26, 27, videos the first of those uh, was all just magic related I'm comfortable in that niche but I'm learning how to edit a video how to put music how to create an intro all these little things that can seem basic to you and I but only come through practice so be okay with starting with something you're comfortable in 
who cares how nerdy it can be? You never know. Somebody, there are people out there who love listening to people just talk. I mean, half the time, that's what I do. And yet people are still somehow watching. So be okay with the fact that maybe a handful of people are going to watch your videos. But the point is you are doing something you're comfortable with. One of the most important things that I often hammer about is the consistency. This is going to vary very widely based on who you are, what you're wanting to do, and your vision. For me, I gave myself a five-year plan to really really understand how YouTube works and just to get my feet comfortable in this community. I'm one year in and what I've had, what I've decided to do personally is I decided to release one video a week. In the beginning, it was very difficult because although I know a little bit of that art, it became a little difficult to really keep elaborating on that, which forced me to then start diving into really the technicals of photography, videography. And for me, the niche became all about the documentation of somebody who went from having no ability, no skill to somebody who's trying to make this a career, a living. So now it became instead of all about magic, it became about what am I learning? And what am I up to? That's a lot easier to, to document because there's always something going on now in, in my life with this area. And I can always just go out and practice a new photography skill, whatever it is, and document that. So that became my niche. And again, feel free to adopt that because if you if you take that idea, the documentation of a beginner's process, that's great. Although you may be trying to follow some of the strategies that I'm following and I encourage you take them all, please be consistent. And in that consistency, you'll see the idea will evolve and you'll be able to in real time pivot where you need to, but just set yourself a consistent schedule. The last thing I would mention is just be aware that it's going to take a significant amount of time. There's a handful of people and creators that will take off just because there are some people that are more gifted than others. So when you look at people that are just blowing up overnight or in a year understand that that is not the rule for most creators so be okay with taking time the misconception can be somebody who's been doing it for 10 years you only really see the explosion of the last year or two and that's what most people will think like oh that's how fast it takes to develop an account it doesn't it doesn't there's a lot of behind the scenes that those people most likely have been doing that you and i don't see a whole lot of so just be okay with it taking a whole lot of time. That's why the, the previous points all are super important because if you understand that this will take time, you're passionate about what it is you're recording, you've got a plan, the rest is gonna work out. And if it doesn't, look, that's why you gave yourself some time. I, I admit for me, after five years, if I'm not enjoying it, if nothing productive is coming of it, if it's just not doing me any good, I'm not enjoying it, well then that's okay for me to say, look, here's the five years, I've done my five years, it didn't work out, I'm happy to move on and devote my time to something else because we all have limited time so kind of just to wrap up i mean there's never been a better time to start a youtube channel now if you are watching this and you do decide to actually start a youtube channel um please hit me up in the comment section or if you're on the fence about it and you're just not sure let me know i love watching smaller accounts just because there's not a lot of pressure they're more niche they're not so mainstream and so they can pretty much do a lot of things that they want to do that a lot of bigger creators are kind of subject to certain rules that where they're not able to if you haven't started and you're sitting on a video dude go publish that Go send that out, throw it out into the world, see what happens, because that's the other thing too. You're you're not gonna know how to better create videos unless you're getting critiques on some of these videos. You wanna know where people are dropping off. You wanna know what people want more of because your first video is gonna do horrible, most likely. If it does bad, count that as a win. Figure out why that was bad, ask for feedback, look at your stats, look to see where people are dropping off and improve on the next video. If you can improve one thing on every single video, that is a win. By video 100, you're going to be putting out much better value for people that they're going to want to come back and subscribe and rewatch all over again than if you did then the stuff that you put on video five or ten mine suck <laughs> my earlier videos are horrible there's there's one actually that that has the most views it's like six thousand views it was a card trick the audio was so horrible i was learning how to adjust the level volumes and that kind of stuff and i screwed something up and i published it not even knowing and then a month later i realized whoa the audio was terrible i went back and i never had that issue ever again <sighs> Whew, that was a lot. I hope you guys stuck with me and I hope that was encouraging. Please hit me up if you guys are struggling uh, with anything starting your YouTube channel. I'm super excited for 2024. Well, thank you guys so much once again for sticking with me. Go post that video, go start that YouTube channel and we will see you guys in the next video. Do not forget to tell a story.